Having played Sea of Thieves for two and a half years now, I've played with my settings enough to know what gives me the best boost to help kill, sink, and steal my way through the seas. And I want to share with you guys some of the things that I turn on or keep off so you can have that one up on enemy crews as well. To start off, this first setting gives you almost superhuman hearing in Sea of Thieves if you turn it on. If you turn on speech to text in the language settings, everything that someone says in the open mic in game will be translated to text so you'll be able to hear and see what someone said. It seems like a normal feature at first, but this could be used to your advantage. If you're tugging on or fighting a crew using open mics, but you're just out of reach and can't hear them, as long as the game thinks you're close enough, the speech to text will come through and you'll be able to read what they say, even if you can't hear them. You could take this a step further by allowing speech translations. So if you're fighting someone that is speaking a different language, you'll still roughly be able to know what they're saying. I've used this feature many times to get intel on enemies, like figuring out when a crew wants to go sell loot, or if someone goes below deck on their boat to go repair, so I can shoot over. In the heat of battle, you have to make sure that every action you make is precise, because one wrong move and it could cost you your ship. So when you're running around your boat to fix this, turn that, shoot this, you could accidentally hit the wrong button and end up sitting on your ship or messing with your trinkets when you meant to do something else. This could be easily avoided by going to settings, gameplay, then turning on disabled trinkets and sitting interaction. This way you don't have to worry about accidentally decorating your ship while turtling. Sometimes when you're in a naval battle, you battle close enough to an island to trigger the pop-up banner that extravagantly shows you what island you're at. Not only is that annoying, but it can block your health bar and ammo bar. And I don't know about you, but I like to see those things. So to make sure they don't get blocked, when you go to an island, go to the HUD tab in the settings and turn island banners to the slim line setting. This will make those pesky banners turn into a slim line so you can see your health and ammo. If you're not playing with any mics or are using open crew but you muted those little bastards, then it might be hard to know what your crewmates are doing. Whether they need to help repair the boat or you need to come back to the boat and bucket because they died, you should know what your crewmates are doing at all times. But you can actually know what your crewmate is doing without them telling you and without having to see them by turning on one simple setting. If you turn on the crew status tags in the HUD menu in the settings, there will be a little badge next to your crewmate's name tag where they're performing an action, whether that action be bucketing, repairing, fighting, dying, or using the cannon. This next one is personal preference, but sometimes when having to interact with things like the cannon wheel or pulleys for the mast, you have to look for the interaction prompt on the thing you're interacting with, which can sometimes be difficult if you're just starting out or you're running all over the place on your boat during a naval battle. To fix this, you can actually make the prompt automatically show up fixed on the bottom of your screen instead of having to look for the prompt near the item. To turn this on, go to the HUD settings and turn on fixed position for interact prompts. Personally, I don't have this feature on because I generally know when I can get the interact prompt without having to find it, but other much better players than me use this feature, so it's up to you what you feel more comfortable with. And finally, some honorable mentions, make sure you put your FOV as high as you can so you can see as much as you can, turn your sound effects volume all the way up so you can hear when other people board your ship or are swimming near it, turn your musical hit volume all the way up so you can hear the musical cue that tells you if you hit another ship with a cannon, and hotkey food and throwables so you don't waste time by having to open your radio menu and selecting what you need. And also, go follow me on my Twitch where I might be streaming Sea of Thieves right now, and if you want to learn the rarest colors you can still get in Sea of Thieves, then click on this video right here and learn all about them.